this is Nesbeth. All when I'm here alone, me still a stay strong. The world full of hate, me know they have to stay long. Till me dead, you know, a straight nation. Now sell me soul, me love, me salvation. Keep it locked. You're watching. Straight talk with the general himself. Big soon. I know a Nesbeth and Darcy. No. And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Big Stone Straight Talk. What happened to all of the white room? From September last year, we can't get white room as easily as how we used to get it. I wonder what is the cause of the shortage of white overproof rum. Between me and you, did you know that white rum, that particular brand, control 90% of the business in Jamaica others have to play catch up to the brand there but between me and you since of late we have not been seeing too much of that brand and I've been pushing my ears on the street for straight talk because straight talk want to know we spot the rum there because you know that rum is very important and prevalent in setup, nine night, grave digging, funeral night, every kind of party, bashment, all kind of stuff. So we wonder which part the white room there. What caused the white room for short? Well, a couple people call me and tell me it's a big stone between me and you. The high crime rate man, the amount of people we are dead every day, brethren. And Jamaica start a new system where three days after you're dead, them keep up a little thing. And then nine days after you're dead, them still go keep up a little thing. And then grave digging, them keep up a little thing. And then set up, them keep up a big thing. And then, of course, during the day at the funeral and after the repose and so on, all the thing go on with all the rum drink. But if it's really true that because of the high crime rate and the high murder rate that causes the drying up of overproof rum, let me tell you, we're in a bad state. A whole lot of people have to do that to you know, brother. Even though some of them say, boy, we spot the factory locate and the drought and the this and the that and the third and all kind of stuff. I've never, never heard of Jamaican white rum dry up till the sell all one quart for four thousand dollars and them gone back to the olden days them married if you now go buy some caffeine drink for spice it up you can't get no overproof rum so I wonder if I really that a cause it brethren you know what I mean because let me tell you something you remember back in the days when you might hear about a one funeral up so and a one funeral down so. But funeral these days a big business massa. <laughs> People are make money left, right and centre. You see when you have all a nine night, people drive them care from OU. Me go to Westmoreland already. To a nine night. And believe you me, I thought it was a festival. Really care left, right and centre. Them look a bar car they will park up from both sides of the street and when we go around and ask most of the care bar them if they know the deceased were dead not one of them know the person were dead it's a business I mean I'm not nobody from making them business enough food I feed 
But my God, what a way we eating food. What a way we eating food after somebody's demise. And not only that, funeral service gone sky high. The funeral home, them, me I tell you, them I make money left, right, and center. You ever go down downtown and see all them cluster up like chink? Yeah. When you look, you see one funeral home, then right beside it, you see another one. And then each up beside it, another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. Funeral service come, boy, I'm mean, gonna you know what you say. Funeral a big business, brethren. And let me tell you something, you see, I'll just make a them. When I talk about people that send down stuff, you know, new stuff and the store them, the Abadashri and the late night store them on the sidewalk at night time, where I eat them food. Everybody I make big business out of clothes because people now wear the same clothes when I'm going to John Brown night night and come here night night. They don't know. They must be clean. So, it makes me wonder. It makes me really wonder. And based on all that night night and this and that even though the bible says when somebody pass away you must rejoice is when somebody born and you don't know what them up to then you must shed tears are we living the terms of the bible are we in the last days now i beg to wonder and i want to know comment in the comment section because you know straight talk is that thing where is an interaction with Moan with you and my fans them same more second donances to all of you who have lost loved one brethren I really really do care and I'm concerned about you losing a loved one whether to violence or otherwise but why chum something like a that shot in a Jamaica and them say maybe by early part of next year you might get the free flow of white rum. So let me ask you a question. Oh, this Saril ago go. Oh, Christmas ago go. Eh? Oh, Christmas ago go. I mean, no, it's a whole lot of Jamaican. Come down to Jamaica, back up, and set up themselves for Thanksgiving in November. It's a whole lot of people that suffer, brethren, because they can't get no white rum. And the number one cause for the shortage is because too much people are dead. I could stop it no man. I could make them have white room for dashery no man. I could make them have so much thing for dashery no man. And poor people and uno and uno going on the pocket because most of them can't afford it you know. Them big bashment funeral when we see one million dollar and one point five million dollar for bury somebody. A whole heap of that are going on in a Jamaica and the people them cannot afford it. So I could cut down upon the crime, man. Christmas is just around the corner. We could just have a wonderful, beautiful rest of the year with no whole heap mass shooting, man. You know what I mean? I could just tone down the thing a bit and I could just love one another. See? This is Big Stone, straight talk. I wear the rum there. Boy, I'm going to take a shot of white rum right now. I'm going to tell a lie. A Big Stone says so. <laughs>